it be cool to have the Raspberry Pi connected to a display, a little output or whatever, a touch screen, and it would be able to see basically what the, you know, the more expensive Victron component costs, but still, you know, DIY solution? That would be really cool. Welcome back to the channel. I want to try today with you to connect a touchscreen display. I think it's a seven inch display. Links in the description below as always. I want to connect it to the Raspberry Pi. I want to see if we can get an output. So today is just try and see if we get any output at all before we can continue and figure out. So we are together at this and since I have a little display, which is a touchscreen, I think it is a seven inch which connects through HDMI, gets the power through USB, micro, no, USB, but it's micro USB uh, in the back of the display. It's pretty simple. Let's see what happens. Just let's give it a try. You can see the setup. I made it very, <laughs> I tried to clean it up a little bit this time. <laughs> I disconnect everything we don't need. But we have the Raspberry Pi over here. It's already on. We have a power off and power off switch. I'll put on over the display this corner. I think you should be able to see a little bit at least. Since this Raspberry Pi 3 B+, plus, 3 plus B, and one of those, um, comes with HDMI, I will just plug it in and we'll see what happens. So it means plug it into the side here. HDMI. Then we need some power, which we'll just plug in one of those three ports here. Just turned on, there's nothing else visible right now, but I also have one of those Logitech keyboards, wireless keyboards, and I will put in this little dongle here. I'll also plug it in, the Raspberry Pi, just to make sure whatever pops up, maybe we can type something in. Because I expect uh, Linux popping up and then some command line where we can just type it stuff. One of those little keyboards, wireless keyboards with trackpad over here, so I have all in one device, but for Linux, most likely what I need that. Right now, we see nothing. And try to lift it up a little bit. That's a GoPro, nope. We don't see anything. I'll turn off the Raspberry Pi and I'll turn it back on. Maybe it needs a kind of calibration or whatever, booting. Turn it back on. Let's boot the device and see what happens. I'll speed it up a little bit for you. Victron Energy, invisible over there. Oh, there we are. It shows me a last login and a root and the Raspberry Pi name. Most likely, um, those are just configuration out of the box from out of the image, basically out of the box, how it, I downloaded it. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think a little bit you can see. Yeah, I could write something here. There's no touch any. Any reaction here? Let's see if I can get a better app. There's nothing going on with touch. I can write something, then you see that there's some typing. When I look at the portal, I can see that the VRM remote console is still up and running. That means I guess we need some configuration here. On how that works, I have absolutely no idea. So if you wanna know how that works, I try to figure it out within the next couple days and weeks. I don't know how long it will take me. I'll do some research online or in the, on the boards and the forums and Victron, whatever I can find. If you have an idea how that easily works, please post it in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, I'll do my own research and I'll have some follow-up videos. So if you wanna stay tuned with those information, if you wanna watch that video or the videos, I have no idea how much work it will be. Please feel free to subscribe, like the video, that I know you're interested in it and I'm doing the right work for you. Um, of course, also for me, to be honest. It's probably my interest, but anyways, thanks for watching for now. Pretty short video, I thought there might be more to show, but um, well, that's not right now. I'll give my best within the next videos. See you around, tschüss.